good morning. Like I could really sing, come on. Good morning, everyone. It is rainy in good old Washington state, of course, you know, my favorite kind of weather. Um, Keegan's a little fussy in the back, so if you hear him, it's okay. He just woke up just in time for me to get him ready and zoom out the door. We are on our way to the sitters. Um, is there anything now? I don't think so. So I will see you guys after I drop him off. Alrighty, so I dropped Keegan off and I had to leave like right away and he just started crying and it broke my heart. Like I, I really was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, each day it, it's a little different because some days I'm like, okay, I gotta go. I love you, you know, and I hand him off. But like today, I don't know, just that cry got to me but he's still doing very good with the nursing I am very happy with it we're gonna see you know if we can keep this up and I'm trying my hardest and it's good that he's still doing daycare during the day because that keeps him from wanting to nurse um, last night he was a little fussy but he's also dealing with a cold so he did want to nurse but it's like short nursing it's not like 15 minutes it's not even 10 minutes it's probably like two and then he's fine and then he wants to get off but that is going well so far and another thing update on Paragard I feel great I don't feel a whole bunch of cramping yesterday I felt like just a little bit of cramping here and there nothing major um, I feel like I don't even have anything inside of me <laughs> attached to my uterus so everything's going great so far and I guess we'll really see what happens in a few months um, when the, the depot was like most likely fully out of my system we'll see what happens um, but everything's going great. My eating is going great. Um, I, you know, I'm just trying to keep control of that. And one thing that I have been doing that I have not told you guys about is the, is taking apple cider vinegar. I mix it with eight ounces of water and I do two, t two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in the glass bottle and then I do about like four teaspoons of a sweetener, which is like, what is it called? I forget what it's called, but I can link it down below. And I believe it's actually available at Walmart. I had originally got it from Ross. Um, I do about like four teaspoons of that just to sweeten it up a little bit. Because if you've had apple cider vinegar, it's not the best tasting. But I've been doing it every morning and I think this, I think I'm going on like two and a half weeks maybe. Has it been that long? I think so. I think I'm going on two and a half weeks. And you're supposed to take it on an empty stomach, but I get nervous that it may not sit well. So I do take it on an empty stomach, but then I eat something right away. Something light like avocado toast or like two eggs. Um... And there are a few things that I have noticed. One, it helps me go to the bathroom a lot easier. I'm sure you can get the hint. Two, your pee or your urine, I don't know. I'm just going to say it. It's not as yellow. It's almost like a more clearish, light, faint yellow color. So whatever that means... I don't know, but I am drinking a lot of water with it and I'm eating about every two, two and a half hours, something small, nothing big, small portions so that I'm kind of, you know, I'm staying consistent throughout the day, but I'm not doing huge meals or like not eat all day and then eat dinner. Like, no, you need to feed your body throughout the day. So 
I'm choosing healthier options. Another thing that I have been drinking, like instead of, I love apple cranberry juice, but there is sugar in that. And I'm not exactly how sure how much sugar is in it, but I am really loving these Argo teas. I swear you guys, try them. They are so good. I found these at Arco. I don't know who else carries them. I actually want to Google it and see if I can get like a huge case. But these are so good. And this time I'm trying the green tea ginger twist. And oh, like I was like, ooh, is it going to have like too much of a gingery taste? But no, it tastes so good. And I'm loving it. And I'll just like sip on this throughout the day and I'll have water. So that is one thing I wanted to tell you guys about and I will update you guys like I don't know every week or so but I'm loving it so far I did try apple cider vinegar one time before and I didn't notice too much of a change so I think I had taken it for two weeks now obviously two weeks isn't enough time to see a change but what's crazy is this second time around that I started doing it I noticed a change within the first week why i don't know if i'm doing something different i don't think so so i don't know why i didn't notice anything last time who knows maybe i was doing something wrong maybe i wasn't eating as great but i swear i was and i found it very odd that this time i i, I feel and i see a difference and i'm less bloated you guys like I don't have a flat stomach, you know, I have a little pudge and sometimes if I'm overeating throughout the day or I'm like drinking soda, oh my gosh, I get so bloated. So I've, you know, been staying away from soda. I'll have one every now and then, but nothing crazy. And my stomach is like laying more flat, if you know what I mean. I'm sure a lot of women out there may know what I mean if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it so far and I'm going to continue to take it every day. Oh, also I'm still walking every day for 20 minutes. Yesterday I didn't get to because I ran over, I was working a little over, you know, past my time. So I didn't want to walk for 20 minutes and then pick Keegan up even later. So I didn't yesterday, but I plan to do it today before I get him. And I think that's helping as well just some physical activity my job mostly consists of sitting down so I have to make sure that like I'm doing something you know keep my circulation going get some kind of activity um you know I'm taking the dogs out to the back you know I'll play with them for a little bit just a little something you know to to get me going so <sighs> I think that's helping too. I don't think I was doing like any kind of walking last time. So maybe that's helping me. Um, I want to continue staying on this track that I'm on. I am trying to lose weight. Obviously, if you guys haven't uh, picked that up yet, I am trying to lose weight. I there's many reasons why I want to and I and I feel like it's just my health. I want my health to be number one. And keep that at the top of my list because if I'm not healthy then that affects everything else in my life so that's why I'm doing this and I'm going to continue to do the do what I'm doing and if you guys have any suggestions on like things to try let me know um I love hearing what other people do you know and what works for them now it may not work for me but I mean I may want to try it so let me know what you guys try and what has worked for you down below in the comments. I would love to hear it. All right, enough of that. I gotta go in, let Harley out, take Bailey out, you know, same old mama jamma, and I will see you guys a little later. And I forgot to tell you guys something really quick. Um, I don't know if anybody was interested in that jacket that I was wearing, and I think in the last vlog and the vlog before that, which I wear all the time because it's black and it goes with everything, this is the other color that I got. So they all have this little furry thing. This is the other one that I got and I love it. I just don't wear it as much because of the color. Um, but I guess you could pretty much wear this with anything. It's kind of a neutral color. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys this one. The sleeves look like that. And I love it. So I will try and link it down below in this vlog for you guys. All right, bye. Alrighty, so 
off of work it honestly kind of felt like a long day it did go by a little quick but it was one of those days where I'm in the car all day you know and like on the computer and ugh, those days like mentally exhaust me because for some reason I'm sure this happens to other people too but if I'm in the car and I'm like focused on the computer screen my head starts hurting I start feeling nauseous and then I just like I'm like like fudge so it was one of those days so my head just kind of feels like very airy if that makes sense but it's beautiful out I'm gonna go pick up Keegan now and if it stays dry I want to take him outside when we get home I want him to get out as much as he can I have to take advantage of these beautiful days so <clears throat> I guess we'll see you when we get home I got my boy I got my boy huh? yeah you guys he was so excited to see me he like he did his normal fuss thing but it wasn't so dramatic it was so cute huh baby oh look at the beautiful sky we're back home now brought the little kiddo outside we have to take advantage of these beautiful days because you just never know when it's gonna rain which is 90 percent of the time so we're going down the road. Keegan, he has his water with him. Keegan, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> <sighs> I forget so much that I end up having to end the vlog the next day or just <laughs> leave the vlog where it left off which I don't like doing but dad should be home I don't know within an hour it'll probably be dark though so I don't think he'll be able to spend some time with us outside but that's okay I didn't get my 20 minute walk in today on the treadmill so I'm trying to get it in right now before it gets dark which honestly whoa boy look at this boy he just puts his foot out to get out and his butt's wet because the seat was wet and your shoes are on the wrong foot I did that oh my gosh mom fail do you guys know how hard it is <laughs> to change your child's shoes when you put them on the wrong feet <laughs> he didn't even care I don't even think he noticed he was like, nope, leave him. Oh, look at this beautiful sun behind me. Oh, nah, boy. Now he wants me to carry him and push the car. No, 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 no. Ah! He was just gonna friggin'. He was just gonna go stomping in the puddle. And normally I wouldn't care. But he's not wearing rain boots. He's wearing his nice Vans. So I'd rather not. Oh boy. Oh, really? All right, gotta carry the child. No. Hmm. This boy. I knew this was gonna happen. He was gonna get out of the car, want me to hold him. But I mean, I haven't seen him all day, so I understand. But geez. This is a lot. Bailey, are you gonna help me? No? All right. We're going to walk to the house so I can push this car. I gotta stop the camera. I'll see you when we get there. So we are back inside and I'm doing a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of laundry. I swear our room can never stay clean. It's so frustrating, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not gonna try and vlog that or do a montage. 
I'll just talk to you guys when I'm done.